Hey guys, and roughly 7% girls. Well, uh, welcome back to For or Against, and uh, in case you're not sure what this series is about, I basically pick a topic and then talk about it in a casual-like manner, and then uh, you guys let me know how you feel about it, whether you're against it or if you're for it. So in this episode, I thought I would talk about killstreaks in first-person shooter games, and uh, more specifically in Call of Duty games, because that's predominantly what I play. So we'll be talking about whether they add to the gameplay, whether you think it, it makes the game more fun, or if you think it uh, if it ruins the gaming experience and it makes it worse. So just to give you some context, um, this particular game I was recording while capturing clips for the C4 COD vs COD episode. And uh, actually all I was doing was trying to rank up in Modern Warfare 2 really quickly so that I could unlock the C4 because it's not unlocked until level 43. And so I had on the Predator Missile and the uh, Harrier Airstrike and then the Pavelo just because they were cheap and nasty kill streaks that would get me a lot of points. And in this game I go absolutely ham and destroy the opposition and you'll see that it's mainly because I would say that at least half or if not three quarters of my kills are all down to the kill streaks. So for the two people out there that don't know what a kill streak is, basically the definition of a kill streak, well this is my definition of it, is uh, getting an in-game advantage or reward for killing a certain amount of enemies in a row. So if you get X amount of kills in a row, you get some sort of advantage. So some of the pros of uh, a kill streak is obviously they're quite cool. Um, depending on, obviously this is very subjective, but I think they're pretty cool. Um, they add uh, a goal or an incentive uh, in the game, something for you to play towards or something for you to, to try and earn in the game rather than just getting straight up kills. And they can be fun as well. So you've got, you know, kill streaks that you can control or just do a whole bunch of damage or kill a whole bunch of people and it can be very satisfying. In certain games like this one in Modern Warfare 2, uh, your lethal kill streaks will help you earn kills towards your next kill streak. So if you're good enough, you can just get on a roll and basically get kill streak after kill streak after kill streak. So, I mean, other things that are good about kill streaks is you feel like an absolute boss when you get them. The AC-130 is one of my favorite kill streaks of all time just because it <laughs> feels so unfair. Um, and like I said, it kind of gives you a goal or a purpose in the game other than just straight up kills. So if you're like me, you don't play a lot of objective type games, mainly because I find them quite slow. I like kill streaks because it gives me something to look forward to in the game or something to strive towards or to, to earn. So some examples of uh, kill streaks which I think are good um, are things like the AC-130, which I already mentioned, which is in both Modern Warfare 2 and 3. Um, I couldn't pick one over the other in terms of how good they are, but I, I just like that because, yeah, you've got that giant cannon, and then you've got the smaller cannon, and then you've got the machine gun. Other cool kill streaks, I like the Pavlo again from MW2 and 3. The attack helicopter from Call of Duty 4, that's got to be one of the original best kill streaks. That thing was just so awesome to call in back in the day. The uh, chopper gunner in Black Ops, where you pull out the minigun. We open the door and just start mowing people down. I love that one as well. That's that's probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite. I like the Blackbird from uh, Black Ops. It's a non-lethal one, which is very much the orbital VSAT from Black Ops 2. And I love the load star from Black Ops 2, um, which is just absolutely ridiculous. A bit like the AC-130, but uh, a bit more ridiculous than that. So, I mean, we've talked about the pros of killstreaks, but in my opinion, there's a whole bunch of cons as well. So, on the flip side of, you know, getting a kill streak and absolutely murdering everybody on the map, it really sucks when you're getting smashed by a kill streak. Like, for instance, dropping into a game where your team is just getting spanked 4 to 68 and the enemy have a warthog and a load star and attack dogs all at the same time, which has happened to me. Yeah, that just really sucks. And, you know, heaps of people rage quit out of games, which is post migration during Call of Duty. If you play a lot of Call of Duty, anybody will know is incredibly annoying. Another con, I think, is it takes skill out of the game. You know, a lot of people prefer it to be gun-on-gun -gun action and lethal kill streaks. Um, like in this game, basically most of my kills come from stuff that I'm not even controlling. I get a couple of kills at the start, and then basically my kill streaks take over and do the rest of the work for me. So, uh, yeah, that takes a fair amount of skill out of the game. And this, of course, can be really unfair. I mean, why should really good players get an advantage like this over less skilled players? I'm not saying that I subscribe to death streaks. I think they're probably one of the worst ideas ever employed in a Call of Duty game. But I do think it's a little odd that really good players get an advantage over the less skilled players, even more so than they already have. 
So some examples of uh, overpowered kill streaks, or what I think is overpowered, is uh, the chopper gunner from MW2. That thing was just ridiculous. I mean, in the hands of the right player, you can just kiss everybody goodbye. That, that thing is insane. The uh, Pavlo from MW2, which I love, is also horribly overpowered. When I get one, it usually gets at least 6 to 10 kills on average. The other one from MW2, which is horribly overpowered in my opinion, is the Harrier Strike, where basically two Harriers come in and drop some bombs on a particular area, and then a third Harrier comes in and just hovers over the area mowing down people. Once that thing enters the map, you're pretty much guaranteed to get your next kill streak. Other overpowered ones was, I thought the Stealth Bomber in the support package in MW3 was just ridiculous. I mean, in most games, at about two-thirds of the way through, you can almost guarantee at least one Stealth Bomber to come across the map. And then, obviously, the nuke from MW2 is just dumb. I mean, yeah, sure, it's hard to get the necessary kills to uh, to earn a nuke, but the fact that it ends the game and wins that team the game, regardless of what the score is, is uh, pretty unfair, and I think a lot of people didn't like that. However, I do like watching a good nuke video on YouTube where someone gets a nuke super quick and then ends the game. So where do I stand on this matter? I am a pro kill streak person. I love the kill streak. I mean, that's pretty much why I play Call of Duty. I love earning the ridiculous kill streaks and absolutely spanking the opposition. Of course, I hate getting spanked by kill streaks, and I have been known to uh, rage quit from the occasional game due to getting absolutely slaughtered. Uh, by an enemy kill streak, but uh, on the whole I do think they're awesome I very much look forward to the new Call of Duty games just to see what kind of new and inventive kill streaks They've come up with I'm generally one who likes the lethals as well I hate to admit it, but I'm not much of a team player I'm, I'm very much a lone wolf and I like the ones that just allow me to, to murder everybody But uh, let me know what you guys think are you guys pro kill streak or are you a purist and you prefer it to be gun on gun battle and uh, do you prefer the bare bones mode where you uh, don't have any kill streaks at all? I'd like to know your opinions. Um, I've got a whole bunch of friends who play Call of Duty, and it's kind of split. About half of them really hate lethal kill streaks. They only run non-lethals like UAV, counter UAV, and orbital VSAT or Blackbirds and things like that. Whereas the other half love all the ridiculously high kill streaks. Um, but I'd like to know what you guys think, of course. That's what this series is all about. So uh, leave me your thoughts in the comments section below. And uh, also, if you'd like to leave me your favorite kill streak from any of the current or past Call of Duty games, I'm thinking of putting together a top five kill streaks or maybe a top ten kill streaks in Call of Duty. But uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you next time. I right, see ya.